Would you say your gaming style is more of a food blender or an aeroplane taking off? Science has just come for us gamers. Time to hide your controllers. What if I told you the sound piping through your Turtle Beach headphones could be reaching the level of a blender or a pneumatic drill without you realizing it? While a silent boss fight doesn't sound hugely appealing, new research has shown that gamers are at risk of irreversible hearing loss and tinnitus. Studies show that some of the most popular shooting games out there can reach up to 119 decibels, similar to a live concert or drill. Over the course of a week, we really shouldn't be exposed to over 80 decibels for more than 40 hours. That's more like a vacuum cleaner or a doorbell. Now, to give some defense to gamers. In pure gaming terms, listening to sound through headphones can give you a competitive advantage in online spaces. Be that Call of Duty, Fortnite or Destiny, the same can be argued for gaining the most out of a horror game experience. Online gaming is a place where people can connect with friends, make new ones and play as a team. Especially in a world that has become more remote in recent years, this cannot be discounted. Would you want to sacrifice a competitive advantage if it made you safer? The research of the study noted that there would need to be an intervention to raise awareness on the risks it brings. But how damaging could that be to the art of gaming? From Pac-Man's iconic tune to the fully realized worlds that are Grand Theft Auto or Spider-Man. Not only is sound about your environment, it also accounts for some incredible scores made by composers that have elevated games to another level. So whose responsibility is it to protect the ears of gamers? Us, game devs, or is there another solution? 